Marty, it's been fun, thanks. All right, Marty's an amateur boxer. What's your amateur record now? Uh, six and one. Six and one? Yes, sir. And uh, any kind of titles or anything? Uh, tournament mm -hmm. victories? Just the ABF state championship. But, um, Are you, you're the ABF state champ? Yeah, for 139, but I'm fighting 147. I see. I just did that just because my trainer wanted me to do that, to work oh. things out with other boxers on my team. Okay. Uh, I understand you have kind of an interesting side light, something that you like to do. You want to tell us about that? Um, what I'm trying to do is um, emphasize that if you're doing something negative, like being in a gang or what, like graffitiing the walls of Albuquerque, and you really, what you're trying to tell us is you want attention. Well, if you want attention, then do something for a community center, or for something for the city, like I'm doing. I'm getting a lot of attention right now, and I used to graffiti art when I was a kid, but now that I'm doing stuff for the city, I'm getting a lot of attention. I'm getting more attention than all you guys wasting your time graffiti. And I just want to say that uh, Albuquerque is my city, and this is Albuquerque down here when I get done. This is Daniel Perez, Pitbull. He's a middleweight, superweight, super middleweight boxer. And he means a lot to me because he has a very nice attitude. And I put him in between the flags, emphasizing Albuquerque, New Mexico, being a major city, using Daniel Perez as a, as a role model. Because his, of his attitude and his example to young people like me and everyone else. Okay, Marty, you were telling me earlier that uh, you used to actually uh, be involved in, in the graffiti and that kind of thing, kind of uh, messing up our, our city, which Albuquerque actually, I guess you'd say, is a pretty beautiful city yes. underneath the graffiti. Uh, you know, what, what made you change your direction? I mean, what, you know, um, how'd you get out of that? Boxing. Boxing changed my life. It's, uh, well, God, too, you know, I'm not going to say boxing number one, but for God. Uh huh. Um, just, I used, to, I used to sleep at the Albuquerque hideout with Daniel Romero. They used to be good to me. They've done a lot for me. You know, they gave me a place to stay. And uh, I used to ask little Danny, man, how do you do this, how do you do that? And he says, it doesn't come overnight. You gotta keep on doing it. And, you know, I used to watch him all the time. The guy, he was dedicated, great fighter. Um, I joined boxing. I stopped drinking, smoking, and all that stuff because I wanted to win my fights. I didn't have the win to win the fights because I was smoke or drink. So I quit. I had no choice but to do that. Uh -huh. Even though I wanted to drink and smoke, but I had to make a choice. So uh, boxing then, I mean, it, what it does is it gives it gives you something to do with your spare time, right? Because you have to train. If you want to be successful, you've got to put time into it. Right, it? exactly. Just You don't have time to go off and get in trouble. You don't have time to, you know, it changes your attitude too towards people. Like when, you, when you're in boxing, it's like someone will come push you and you're like, okay, I'm sorry, dude. You know, you'll walk away because you know yourself. You love yourself now and you know what you can do, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's helped me out a lot. And I figure if anyone likes to gang fight and, you know, gang bang or what and hurt somebody for nothing, if you really want attention, join boxing. You'll be fighting in front of a bunch of people and you'll have the most attention you have. I mean, if you really got the guts instead of shooting somebody, I mean, anyone can shoot anybody, that's too easy. But can you join boxing and fight? Can you be a boxer? Can you fight instead of shooting somebody? I doubt it. Join boxing and see how, and, and show me what you can do instead of go shooting somebody for nothing. I mean, that's more or less why. Well, that's a, that's a good message, and I agree with you 100%. Uh, Thanks. Marty, um, now the transition from street fighting to boxing in the amateur ring, uh, is it tough? It's 100% tough. It's more tough than street fighting. Street fighting, you can do anything. You can get away, pick up a can, kick, flip. I mean, you can do anything you want. Boxing, you gotta have skill, you gotta have you know, technique, you gotta have timing, you gotta breathe. You, your condition is number one, that's for sure. Yeah. You gotta be in good condition. You can't be in the influence of drinking or, or anything. A street fight's only like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Boxing, you got three minutes in every round, and that's hard as heck. Now, how, how would a young person, uh, or, an, or a middle-aged person, I mean, 25, 30 years old, or a, or a teenager, whoever, they want to get into boxing, you know, what, what can they do? I mean, what, how, do you, how do they go about getting into it? Just come into the community centers that are open to the public, that are, that's free. Okay, it's free, there's no charge, they could just walk in here and say, I want to get into boxing, and can they use the facilities here? Yeah, exactly. Okay. They can. That's how you did it? That's how I did it. Um, Jim Johnson just saw me in the bags one day, and he said, you look good. You look like you could be good, in other words, he told me. Uh -huh. And I said, thanks. And then he was just coming every day. He didn't pay attention to me after that. They watched me. And finally, two weeks later, 
I said, man, you're serious. Why don't you here sign this? You're going to fight for us. You're going to fight on our team. Sal Sano said, which we are the state champions for Golden Gloves. We are, you know, number one in Mexico. Okay, now you got a, a few stable mates there with the San Jose boxing team. Who are some of the fi fighters that uh, are on your team, Marty? Oh, uh, Brian Valencia. Very good fighter. I yeah. like his, his technique. Yeah, we, we saw him on the 8-count boxing hour a while back fighting. I think, didn't he fight? Uh, Chris Linson. Yeah. Chris Linson. And Linson's a heck of a fighter, and Valencia gave him all he could handle. Linson's great, yeah. Uh -huh. That's just tough. He, he he bangs me hard when I spar with him. He hurts me. He makes me see battles. Yeah, he's great. He's uh -huh. good. And who else you got? Uh, Jake Romero. Jakey. Jacob right there. Jacob Romero. Oh yeah. I, I think. Well, we saw him on one of our shows too. Uh, scored a pretty good knockout, I think. Yeah. Jacob Romero. That's right. That guy has a hard right. He, I mean, every fight I see him, he, he knocks someone down. Uh huh. I mean, it's always the first round, Jacob. <laughs> he's good. Yeah. He's real good. Yeah. A couple other names. Um. Tony Villalobos, very good, very strong. He only had one fight before Golden Gloves, and, and he knocked everyone out in the first rounds of the first two fights that he won. He lost the championship, and um, I think he's going to take this year. As well as me, I only had one fight before Golden Gloves, and we both were put open, even though we first started. And I, I, I banged with the state champion, uh, Frank Estrada, and I went off, I went the distance with him three rounds. He's a good I, fighter. Yeah. Frank Estrada, I respect him a lot. Yeah, I do too, but I'm going to take him this year. There you go. I'm going to take Amos Duran and, and, and Frank Estrada this year, the ones that I only lost to. Uh-huh. Um, Frank Estrada is a lefty. That's why I didn't know how to fight. I mean, I didn't know how to fight a lefty. I didn't know. Right. Um, yeah, I've been sparring with um, uh, Frank Cordova, a pro. Under Frankie Trump. the Force Cordova. Yeah. He's right over there. Why don't you come on over and join us, Frank? Why don't you come over and talk real quick? This is Frankie Cordova. Yeah. Fought recently on the uh, on the Hindi un undercard. Yeah. And, uh, yeah fought, fought, right. fought Scott the Pink Cat yeah, Walker. Yeah. And uh, what do you got to say to the folks of Albuquerque? Well, Albuquerque is a great place, man. A lot of good boxers here. You know, I've been working with Marty. He's a great amateur. Thanks. And uh, I've been working with uh, Rudy and you know everybody in here, Richard Fowler and everybody. And everybody's doing great. And and Albuquerque, you got these good boxers. You know, they just got to get into it. You know. Yeah, looks and, like uh, uh, things have picked up a little bit. We've had quite a few shows this year. Yes, we have. Do you think yeah. it's going to be a good year for boxing? Yes, I do. I think everybody's going to start coming around, you know? Yeah, we're going to see you in action again. Yes, you are. I'll probably be going to England this month, next month. You know, that was a, a short notice with that, <laughs> one day, that Scott Walker. One day, one day notice, notice one and day you gave in there and gave him heck, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the shape. I only had, what, three days of training with this guy. He, he's the one to help me. Yeah, I'm, I'm the one you work with. If, if I want to work with this guy, because sparring helps me get my timing back, you know. Yeah. So if I want to work with Marty, I wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been doing nothing good in that ring, you know, that night. You know, so well, well, I know you caught care. I know you care. caught that uh, pink cat with a few shots that kind of surprised yeah. him. Yeah, I was a little nervous because I knew I didn't have no air, you know. Uh huh. Like you yeah. felt like you had to. What happens if it goes into the late third, fourth, fifth, well, sixth no, round? No, I knew it was gonna go in. To all the way to the sixth. Uh -huh. When he knocked me down in the second round, yeah, that really surprised me. You know, like I said, if I want to spar with this guy, because this guy gives me some good body punches too. <laughs> if I want to spar with Marty, I wouldn't have done nothing that night. I already know, you know. You That's the only training I had with Marty here. You know? It looked like he really hurt you, but you got up and came back strong. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, that conditioning, mad. huh? <laughs> yeah. He surprised me. So I've been working with Marty. Marty's been giving me a great hand. You know, he's, he's the only one that's been working with me, really. Well, Frankie, we were talking about uh, Marty's mirror up here. <laughs> yes, it's uh, beautiful. I was checking it out today. I couldn't believe that he did it. And he says he did, he did it, you know, and it's beautiful. I've seen him doing it, you know, and and it's great, man. It's, it shows Albuquerque, and here's Danny, and yeah. what more can we ask for, you know? Kind of a positive thing, you know, that uh, that our younger people could follow the example that yes. uh, you don't have to be out there on the streets, right. you know, messing up our city. You can make Albuquerque the top and show right. that the, the Chicanos aren't just, you know, Writing on the walls, but we're right on the walls. We make it look beautiful, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll make this the most job. beautiful city. Beautiful. Right. Okay, guys, we've got another guy joining us here. We got Jaime Silva. Yeah, he's a good boxer there too. He's quite a boxer himself, huh? Yes, got a, quite a trio of, of boxers here. Jaime, how you been doing? Okay. All how right. I'm doing good, man. Talking to Marty here, and uh, uh, how's, how's your boxing career been going? I know you uh, you got beat in the uh, Golden Gloves, I think. Uh, last year, when you, are you talking about? Well, the most recent tournament. <laughs> that I think. was the originals. The regionals, yeah. 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 And what happened there? Uh, well, got beaten in the championship in the last night. But a lot of people say I was hometown by the guy because I fought in Arizona, and that's where the guy was from. 
And actually, he didn't land no punches. I landed more than him, but you know. Well, that's boxing, huh? Yeah, I wasn't <laughs> shooting as much as I was supposed to. Because I was prepared for a guy that size. Because the guy was tall. Yeah. I could have uh, dig into the body, but I didn't do enough. What weight was that, Jaime? 112. 112. Okay, so you are, like we when we, we last talked to you on my show here, and uh, you said you were going to move up to the 112s. Is that still your plan? Yeah, that's, I'm the 112. That's where I'm staying now. Okay. I saw a nice article about you and uh, Banuelos. Uh, yeah. Have you been sparring with Jesus now? Oh, yeah, a lot. And I'll bet that helps both of you, huh? Yeah, that helps me a lot because, like I said in that article, that he's a stick boxer. And, uh, he's a quick boxer, so I have to keep the pressure on him all the time. So it helps me and my speed, too. Okay, well, uh, we're going to close this thing out here. When, uh, maybe, Marty, you want to... <laughs> you got anything you want to say to the people of Albuquerque? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else is what? I mean, what do you want to say to the people out there? One last uh, message. We'll get Jaime too on here next. I just want to say that it's getting too crazy out there. I mean, anyone can come by and shoot anybody or, or join a gang, and anyone could do that because I used to be in that kind of influence when I was a kid. I mean, I got the scars to prove it. I got scars all over my body, you know. But that I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to be uh, saying I'm tough because I'm not. I can be taken out just like that, just like that, easy. But I just want to say that if you want to do something like. Join boxing, man. You get the best attention. Girls will watch you fighting in the ring. People will see you and say, like, wow, he's a good fighter. But if you're on the street turning somebody, no one's really going to give a heck about you. And I don't think you really give a heck about yourself then. But um, graffiti, I think that's whack also. I think you should do something positive with your graffiti because uh, graffiti doesn't look pretty in the city. And I think uh, doing something for the city would could... Uh, you know, give you the best positive uh, attention. If you really want attention. I mean, that's how I got my attention. I'm gonna get attention now. And I'm gonna win the Golden Gloves this year. And and it's next month, and I know I'm gonna take it. I, I'm positive now. I love myself now. I know I can do it. I'm tired of street fighting and getting hurt for nothing. You know, that's all there is to it. That's all oh. I gotta say. Okay, that's Marty Maesta. So let's get Jaime over here for a quick closing word. And uh, what do you... The thing, he's, he, see, he, Jaime had a chance to think of what he's going to say. I, I got you on the spot. <laughs> exactly. I was like, well, what am I going to say? <laughs> but we're going to close it out here, Jaime. What do you want to say to the folks of Albuquerque? Okay, I want to say that a lot of people that know me found out that I lost last time. But like Marty, I'm going in the 112 pounds. I'm going to win the Golden Gloves. So uh, be ready for a Golden Glove champion in the 112 pounds to come back home. Okay, there it is, folks. Marty Maestas, Jaime Silva, and Frank. The Force Cordova. <laughs> Frankie, what do you want to say? Uh, I just want to say Albuquerque has a lot of uh, good boxers coming up, and uh, they should get into the gym and leave everything else out there, you know, all the bad stuff. And get into the gym and work out and clean your own body out and clean out the world also. You say know, no to so. gangbanging. Well, well, there it is. Right. You gangbangers out there. These guys here issue, issue a challenge. Come on in the gym and get in the ring. Yeah, spar with let's, us. Let's see what you got, huh? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. a positive message. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Still right. been waiting for you. Uh oh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, guys.